Hi guys, welcome to Vatsir Plays The Crew Closed Beta. Firstly, this is of course a uh, closed beta, so there's going to be a few minor issues here and there. Secondly, this is actually footage I recorded earlier, um, so I'm just going to speak a little bit uh, about it as it plays. Um, so this first bit is the chase that it throws you into initially, and I have to say that this is an awesome introduction to the game. This is the best off-road trucking I've played since the criminally underrated Excite truck on the Nintendo Wii. Uh, with, it's got like awesome jumps, fantastic speed, skimming the water. This is actually a lot of fun. Something not so fun is that reward screen though, there's way too much going on there for this kind of high speed game. So this is my first ever meeting with another player, a uh, quick shunt up the jacksie. That blue line which I took to naming the blue noodle is the game's wayfinding tool. And it works okay, but sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell uh, whether you're meant to be turning until too late. Uh, and this is my first and only actual crash of the playthrough I think. Uh, it was actually on purpose, I wanted to see if it initiated anything with the other player, but it didn't. This is me trying to explore. Honestly, I wanted more stuff to find off-road, like collectibles and stuff, but oh well. Um, and at this bit I tried to use that pile of junk as a ramp. Uh, it really looked like it was there for a ramp, but it doesn't seem to actually serve any purpose. Oh well. Here's some other players cornering me. I was kind of waiting for them to initiate challenges or something, but nothing happened, so I don't know. Maybe you can't do that? I don't know. Uh, and this is just to illustrate how long some of the pre-race cutscenes are. Too long. Way too long. Look at this AI. Right here. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I'll let you watch the rest of the race. And again with the convoluted reward screen. Oh yeah, here I actually didn't uh, even realise I was doing a mission. I turned because I saw a jump and then I was like, oh, well, 30 seconds left, what?
Um, without wanting to spoil anything, look at how pretty the cutscenes are. I mean, they really are very nice. Okay, here's the way you buy cars. You can test drive them first. Uh, I was hoping it'd be a bit like TDU, and I'd be able to drive my Chevy to the levee. Uh, but you just kind of complete a circuit. Still, it's a good way to try each car out and find the right one. Oh, those goddamn bin bags. I, I kept on clipping that corner. And here's the lap with the second option. I really thought that that corner there was destructible. It's it's not really obvious enough what is and what isn't destructible. I think they need to take a leaf from Criterion's book there, with uh, like Burnout Paradise and uh, the Need for Speed Most Wanted that they did. It's really obvious to tell which fences are breakable uh, in that game, in those games. This third option was by far and away my favourite, it's a Ford Mustang, and it cornered really nicely. Um, and I kind of suck at this game, so it's important that they are quite easy to corner. And look, I take out the trash. Ah ha ha ha, puns, yay. Go get a feel for that ride. I hated everything about this last uh, car. I didn't even bother completing a full lap on it. The selection thing on the right works quite well though, um, it looks like a phone thing. If you, you basically use the right stick to select stuff so you can keep doing that while you race. I was using a, an Xbox 360 control pad by the way. Of course I bought the Ford Mustang. And I had to show you this screen because look, there's a mini! Yeah. I think that's a pre-order bonus here. Oh, and this is that awesome rendered stuff from the trailers with the cars being put together. Here's me trying my very best to explore again. I, I really thought I'd find something 
but I didn't. Um, hopefully there'll be more collectible type things in the finished game, or maybe I'm just looking in the wrong places, and I'm not really sure. But look at that! I got points for jumping a moving train, apparently. I don't think I deserve them, but hopefully there'll be loads of challenges like that to do. It's nice when the achievement type things are more tied into the game. Uh, and here I get stuck on some concrete. Yay. Okay, that's kind of the end for part one, which was just kind of a lot of the tutorial stuff, but in part two, I actually uh, do a takedown mission as part of a crew. So that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.